Welcome to another edition of the D&D Morning Show. We are here on location at Hermosa Beach, <laughs> California. <laughs> That's where we are today. So we're going to bring you the show from the sunny beaches. Beautiful day out. We did a little run today. Mm -hmm. We did slacklining. We did. And we're going to the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Second one in two days. Yeah, we love the farmer's market. <laughs> We're going to start out with some fun facts. Yes. What you got for us? <laughs> well, since we are traveling, we thought we would share a couple of traveling fun facts. So, Drew in the airport and me in the airport is completely two different people. <laughs> so, Drew, would you like to describe me in the airport? Oh, man. I thought you were going, but Dorothy is like, she's so worried that we're going to be late, that we're going to miss something, that I don't know what, I don't know what you're worried about. And uh, it's just like a constant mad rush to like get to where we're going. But everywhere you go in the airport, you, you, you wait. Like you stop and wait. Like there's a lineup to get there. You have to get there like two plus hours early to wait. <laughs> and then you have to go through the customs line. So you like hurry up and go through the customs line to wait. <laughs> and I'm then, like, come on, Drew, come on. I'm like always like running around and like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. You're and Drew's the complete opposite. Drew's like, dawdling around, dummy dumb, like, not a care. And I'm like, would you get moving? <laughs> <laughs> There's this one time we were actually late for a connection. And I was like, we're each sick, like, we're not going to make this connection. And, and I'm like rushing through the airport. So I'm like in high gear speed walking and like running down the escalator and like gliding across the floor and I look behind me and I'm like where the heck is Drew and he's like way up still at the escalator and he's just like this like on the escalator <laughs> like coming down I'm like would you get going like we're late and I stood there and I'm like which more I'm like get over here and then he's like Dorothy it doesn't matter we're late it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're late, we're late. It doesn't matter if we're five minutes late, if we're ten minutes late, we're late. And I was like, let's go! <laughs> Come on, get moving! Oh, man, the airport's driving, like, drive me nuts. But, so that's why I go in there with a different mindset. Like, like whatever happens, happens. Like, you have so little control in the airport. It's very true. So I'm just like, whatever. Like, I think I missed one flight, and I've been traveling. Like, I traveled from, I was really little. And we travel often now, and Dorothy's still like... You know, like, that drives me nuts how people are like, the carousel's going around with their baggage and like people are like, rush up to the front and they stay on there and like wait for their bag. And I'm like, it's a circle. <laughs> Drew said that to me one time, we don't check bags anymore, but he said that to me one time a while, a long time ago. You know, if you miss it, it's going to come back around. <laughs> it's a circle. <laughs> and it's not like it's come back around like 20 minutes, it'll come back in like four minutes. <laughs> It's a small circle, and the people like rush up there and they stand there. Oh man! Oh, you know, they go right like they, they're not even calling the gate number yet. People are getting in line to get on the plane. Yeah. To wait. <laughs> to wait. So you stand in line to wait. Then you get on the plane early to wait. So, anyways, that's why I don't really understand why there's such like a mad rush to like get there and wait because everywhere you go, there's a line up to wait. Yeah. I have calmed down a lot. Done much better. I have calmed down a lot. We actually lost one of our bags one time at an airport, and Dorothy did a very good, yes. very good job. Because mm -hmm. like years ago, you would have lost, lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> this trip is ruined. <laughs> they lost their bag. <laughs> All right. So what what do we got going on here today? Well, we thought we'd stick with the theme, and we thought we'd talk about traveling. So. Traveling tips. Traveling tips, yeah. Suggestions. Oh, just real quick, I did a radio show on airport frustrations. Oh, yes. It's kind of entertaining, I think. So it was like, very entertaining. If you get a chance, it's exploringmindedbody.com slash airport frustrations. Hilarious. You might yeah. want to check that out. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. Well, we were doing our... our um, oh, travel. Travel, travel tips. tips. Okay. Yeah. And uh, was it Roxanne in our group that yeah. asked? She's going on a... Exclusive, how do you all call inclusive. that? All inclusive. She's exclusive. going to have an exclusive holiday. <laughs> Just her. <laughs> <laughs> She's going on an all inclusive holiday coming up, and she asked us if we could talk about some tips. Right. 
So all inclusives are a bit more challenging, would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, we, not that there's anything wrong with that, but we have stayed away from them just because there's a bit less control. Mm -hmm. Food's a big thing with us. You know, we travel, we need to have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. We need to be in control of our food. Not that there isn't healthy options, we'll get into that here. Yeah. But it's uh, it's definitely challenging, so that's why we wanted to, a great topic to talk about today. Yes. So let's start with food then, yeah. talking about food at the resorts. So one of the things I would suggest is trying your best to eat a lot of veggies. So when you're at the, it, I have, don't have much experience with all-inclusive, I think I've been to one. But as I understand, it's mostly like buffets. When, is that how you yeah, understand it? Yeah, I think they're, it? depending on where you go, I think a yeah. lot of them are buffets, you yeah. can go to restaurants as well. But. Yeah. But try your best, you know, to load up on the on the salads and eat a lot of veggies and stay away from those deep fried meals like the deep fried fish or the deep fried uh, chicken, whatever. Right. Those French fries. Um, I know a lot of places probably have like nachos and cheese and all of those kind of things as well for for snacks. So try your best to to stay away from from those things and stick to stick to fruits and veggies as much as you can yeah i would say start with veggies like mm. if it's a, uh, a meal whatever whatever that meal be meal may be and it's a big breakfast a big buffet and i i mean like start with veggies like start with a small plate of veggies and eat those first mm. and just take it take your time i know that we get excited there's yeah. all this food that looks fantastic but eat your veggies mindfully and then understand that you can go back. No one's going to take all the food away. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in fact, a lot of places that I've heard about, they leave the food out there all yeah. day, which is a bit of a deterrence for me, but the food's going to be there, especially at these all inclusives. There's going to yes. be more than enough food. So relax, enjoy your food, have a big plate of veggies first, like a big salad or maybe just chopped veggies. And maybe if there's some hummus or tzatziki, yeah. enjoy that first and then move on to your next meal mm -hmm. or next portion of that meal. Yeah, and make sure you are eating because a lot of times I think that the food might be a bit far away or a bit off course from where you are, so let's say at the beach or the pool. So it's like, ah, I'm not going to go over there and eat. I'm, I'm happy and comfortable where I am. But make sure you eat. Make sure you have your a nice uh, breakfast, even a larger breakfast, maybe, you know, like an omelet or and some big some lots of fruit and stuff like that make sure you go for your lunch for your supper and then if it is possible if there's a, a little store or even a little grocery store nearby go and get some get some things for snacks throughout the day because that'll keep your metabolism running yeah that's a good point i think yeah. sometimes they only put out food at certain times mm. So make sure you have those snacks with you, or I don't know if you can take a plate with you and put in your room. Like, I don't know, but... Not sure what you can do, but make sure you eat, like, especially if those options are out there. Make sure, and if not, find a way, like Dorothy was saying, go to the grocery store. I think it'd be a great idea to set little alarms by your, on your yeah, phone. Yeah, that's excellent. Like little reminders to make sure you eat. We, as, you know, as we teach and coach, it's the, the minimum of three meals a day. Yeah. It's a very bare minimum. minimum. And yeah. then have your snacks around that. So mm -hmm. just do the best you can with the sort of circumstances you're under. Yeah. Uh, the next tip I have just thought of is water. So make sure you are drinking lots of water. You know, you're in the sun as well, which is dehydrating you. And uh, um, just get that water in you and try to limit your, you know, your fruity drinks, your pop, your alcoholic drinks. I know we're on vacation and you, it might be unrealistic to say don't drink or stay away from alcohol. But um, if you are consuming consuming some, some alcohol, just try your best to stay away from the pop and the juice and those like sugary drinks. Yeah, just remember that whatever you're mixing your alcohol with, those are added we don't, mm. we don't talk about counting calories, but those are added calories per se. Those are also added toxins that you're putting in your body. So mm -hmm. you're like Dorothy was saying, your fruit drinks, your mm -hmm. sodas, like all that kind of stuff is stuff is substances we normally would stay mm -hmm. stay away from. So just because you're having a fancy drink doesn't mean that just be conscious of what you're doing in your yeah. body. Yeah. And then again, just like coffee, you know, we always say if you're drinking one cup of coffee, then two cups of water, I would suggest the same with alcohol. Like if you're having one 
alcoholic drink, then make sure you're making that up with a couple glasses of water. That's right. That's yeah. a great idea. Like mm -hmm. always double up on that water mm -hmm. because it's going to make such a big difference. Hy Huge. Hydration. Huge difference. The next day. I mean, you want to get there. I think sometimes we get to these types of vacations, resorts, and maybe we have a few too many drinks because we're all excited. But <laughs> that's going to affect the rest of your week. You might be dehydrated or yeah. moody and then you oh. wake up and you want to have a coffee or another drink. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But enjoy yourself, yes. but just make sure you're conscious of the choices that you're making because that's going to affect your week there and yeah. maybe the week after. So. <laughs> maybe you get home and it'll <laughs> keep coming. Um, yeah, but the next thing I was going to touch on is exercise. So it might be difficult on vacation to feel motivated to exercise but even those little things like getting up and going for a walk or catching an aqua size class at the pool <laughs> or even something like playing um wa like volleyball in the water is that how you call it um, yeah yeah like little things those little things are going to make a difference too i'm sure the resort facilities have exercise room as well like if you are feeling pumped <laughs> then you can 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 tr check it out but i would suggest having a routine and getting up and doing it r right away even before breakfast because then you don't have to think about it what about the people that are long over <laughs> shake it off and pull themselves shake to the it gym. off shake it <laughs> off <laughs> I think it's important to come with a plan. Yes, excellent. Like nutrition, fitness wise, mm -hmm. go on your vacation or your holiday with a plan. I understand that many times we're like, oh, I just need a break from reality. <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like we need a break, mm -hmm. we need a time out, we need a reset, whatever it is. But I think some people go into vacations fully planning on doing absolutely nothing. Mm. Like just laying in the sun and drinking Mai Tais. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and like I said, I don't know if there's anything wrong with that, but if that, I mean, but our mindset should match up with the lifestyles mm -hmm. and the goals that we want to accomplish. So many of us have been working hard in, in a fitness group or fitness routine or classes or personal trainers or whatever that is with our nutrition. We don't want to go, like I've heard of people gaining 15 pounds oh, on these things. Yes. Me too. And like yes. with all the food selection, with the alcohol, with the inactivity, and I just think that self-sabotage is something that we should be cons yes. considerate of. And going on this vacation, just like throwing everything out the window. <laughs> 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 but just coming in with a plan and knowing that you're going to be a bit more active, that you're going to find places or times to work mm -hmm. out. That we have our at-home workouts, mm -hmm. for example, videos, printable PDFs, that's an option. There's going to be a gym there somewhere. Oh, yes. Yep. That's going to be an option, or like Dorothy was saying, just getting active and moving around. And mm -hmm. you know, I think that if there's a beach around, you can get up and walk up and up down the and beach. Down the beach, yeah. So there's so many different options. It's mm -hmm. just I really think that it's that mindset of saying like I'm going in, believing and thinking that I'm going to be active mm -hmm. while I'm away. Mm -hmm. You can still enjoy yourself and be active. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, don't be afraid, or don't like you can write this down. Like I often when we go away we write out our meal plan and then we go shop accordingly or we write out what workouts we're going to do or what days we're going to do what workouts mm -hmm. and that really helps as well as to like write it down and make it more of a commitment i guess as well yep. if you write it down more of a reality yeah yes yeah you might run some people that are structured like at work and at home no, I'm saying that. Oh, oh, that he was like pointing at me because I'm very structured. Dorothy needs a plan everywhere. <laughs> but I mean, if you go on vacation, you want to get away from that structure. Right. But I still think it's a it's a good tip and a good point to write it down and be like, mm -hmm. this is what I'm going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And like like we talked about intentions before, like setting that intention and just saying it really helps to write it down and just saying like this is I want to feel good after my yes. vacation. Like yeah. I want it to be. Rejuvenating. Ooh, nice. We came together. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be energizing, rejuvenating. Yeah. You want to come back from your break feeling fantastic, not 15 pounds heavier and hungover <laughs> for the next week and a half, and then there comes guilt with the self sabotage, oh, and yeah. that's worse than the actual action. So, yeah. if you want to feel great after a vacation, then you know do the things that it takes to mm -hmm. to, to feel great. Yeah, absolutely. And getting the, um, sleep is important as well. Sometimes when we're, we're on holidays, we stay up a little bit too late, get up early again, and then we are missing out on that, that time for our body to recover heal. and heal. Oh. And So, get your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what he says. <laughs> All right. yeah, I think that's, 
that's it's pretty good. That's pretty good, I think. Hopefully those tips help. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, Enjoy absolutely. Yourself. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, go and and do what you need to do. Have a good time. You know, maybe plan a night to get crazy. <laughs> uh, whatever you need to do to to enjoy yourself. But yeah. I just think it's important. I feel I think we would feel so much better about ourselves if we went in with a plan and understood executed that, the plan. Executed the plan. <laughs> understood what the things that it takes to to feel great after getting away and coming back mm -hmm. and ready to go. That's right. Yeah. What else we got? We're going to talk about uh, a new recipe coming out. So that is the pancakes, right? Oh, pumpkin pancakes. You want to Drew's favorites. Love them. I think we'll have another member who is it. It'll be our other favorite. <laughs> <laughs> ben the pumpkin turkey. <laughs> she might love the pancakes too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so those, uh, we're going to um, make those into a nice blog post here this week. They're fantastic. They're gluten free. Um, they have real pumpkin in them, not that uh, pie filling pumpkin. <laughs> and I would suggest it. It's hard because it's not like pumpkin season at right now at the time that we're filming this. But it's always nice when you have your own pumpkins. Mm -hmm. But at, you know, there's maybe sometimes year that's not not available. So if you are buying canned pumpkin, just make sure it is pumpkin. Not whatever that pie filling is. <laughs> <laughs> Not pie filling. No. It might taste better. It might taste better. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah, the good clean recipe. They you whip them up quickly and, and um, they cook up quick. They're nice. They're they're fluffy. Oh, they're so good. They're delicious. They melt in your mouth. The spices in them are you know cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, like all of those kind of fall spices. Very delicious. Fall spices. Yeah. Fall spices. Right. I would say uh, they're I'm fully. Just, well, I'm not the baker around. I just think that fall spices, that's a nice way to put it. They are fall spices, just like Christmas spices. What are Christmas spices? Peppermint. <laughs> Peppermint? Candy cane? Candy cane. <laughs> Is that a fall spice? I don't know, Christmas cane. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so just uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that that new recipe, and it just kind of changes things up too. We we'll use I complete think. truth. In that. Yes, we use complete truth, which makes them gluten free. Uh, we don't use any dairy, so it's almond milk. We use um, no sugar. We don't put any any sugar in them, and then just the spices, the pumpkin, uh, maple syrup. Yeah, it's nice. pretty pretty straightforward. Right. Not a lot of ingredients. Whip it up in the bowl throw them in the pan. Um, we um, heat up our pan first and then scoop them on with a quarter cup scoop. So if you're wondering about size, that's how we do it. So we take a quarter of a cup, scoop it into the pan, flip, yum. <laughs> yum. All right. So we got that recipe done. We got a quote or are we done? Oh gosh. I was inspired by a song on the radio and it says, um, it says, yesterday doesn't, the song, I'm not going to sing it because I can't remember the tune or else I would sing it, but we were just driving, the radio was on, and it says, yesterday doesn't matter because it's gone, is what it said. So I was like, really reflecting on that, and I thought, you're right, like, don't worry about yesterday because it's already gone, let's keep moving forward, <laughs> like, so that really resonated with me. Yeah, I think it's great. Like the, uh, looking forward, moving, yeah. to, moving to the future. What do you have planned? Yeah. And uh, where you're going instead of what happened back there it doesn't yeah. really matter because it's, it's over. It's right over. Now. It's gone. So just keep going forward. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much <laughs> for tuning in to the D and D Morning Show. Can you say that with a little more pizzazz? That was like smooth. <laughs> it was more jazz instead of pizzazz. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's it. That's it. That's all we got. <laughs> she did it now. We'll, we'll get, get a little excited when we end the show for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. So thanks, thanks guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks and for tuning in and we'll see you in the group. See you in the group. See you later.